All right, so just barely finished some of the mechanicals for the Wind Rider SBD Dauntless. Got a Turnage SK3 1200 kV motor up front. Should be good for 500 or so plus watts. And uh, it's an APC 1073 prop. Should go great. Produces plenty of thrust for this combination. Inside, you can see got the uh, retract servo there. Everything all set for that. Then here, let's see, I've got a servo for the bomb drop. Servo's right here. And it pulls on a clevis tool like a offset door hinge and it just pulls a magnet straight up. The magnet is embedded in in the bomb itself and then I put a little lead weight in the top so that it'll actually drop this way and not fall flat but yeah it just sticks right under there so my receiver is packed full my 8 channel receiver uh, it's down here underneath all this rat's nest you can see the uh, top flap servo that is controlled by channel which controls both flaps at the same time again from this angle we also have A little bit of chatter there, but only using that for diving runs. We also have the bottom flaps, which also extend down, as well as a third flap. And all I did for that is I made a springy so that this stays flush put a piece of wire here I'm gonna paint over that so when this flap goes down it pushes that down and it's the same on the other side that way I'm not adding any additional servos for that third flap so that's what she looks like with all her flaps extended and all her flaps closed Let's see if I can show you the bomb dropping. Underneath. Just like that. And it's strong enough where it's not going to move around too much from the wind. I mean, it's on there pretty good two strong rare earth magnets and they're about three millimeters away from each other so it's holding on there pretty good and then it just moves that magnet away that offset hinge and it just bombs away so, there you have it are my modifications, main modifications. I've got some detail paint to do. Got to remove some material out of the cowl to let the engine breathe some more. Probably going to do myself a custom air cooler intake to get some more air inside. And uh, there's my canopy that needs some more detailing. But other than that, it's a very impressive plane. The finish is just fantastic. It's uh, at or equivalent, may, probably even better than uh, Park Zone Corsair or any of the Z foam stuff like that. But it's a good little airplane. Make sure you put all the components together dry before you plan out some of this stuff. Like, for example, here, I put my servos through and then I realized oh, that's going to get in the way of the canopy, so I had to cut some of the foam off. 
make that fit. So, little details like that. Make sure you put stuff together so you figure out how it all goes together before you start doing stuff. I kind of got ahead of myself at points, but thanks so much.